God bless you. I am so excited to be here with you this morning. As you know, this is sold out for Christ. And I am Pastor Lord Nicholas. What a privilege to be coming into your home, to be talking about Jesus, and to be digging into the Word of God. And today we are going to really, really, really enjoy this broadcast. It is a powerful broadcast about Jesus and his word and what he's doing in your life. I hope that you're ready. This is Sunday. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will surely rejoice and we will be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to know this morning that you're special in the eyes of the Lord. I want you to know that you're precious child of God. This is the way that God sees you. He sees you as special, as desirable, as precious, a child of the Most High God. No matter what has happened in your life, no matter what despicable things that you may have done in the past, I want you to know that you are still a child of the Most High God and God loves you and Jesus he adores you because this is what he says in his word. To show it to you or to prove it to you because I know that some people are feeling so low this morning. They need this word of encouragement. And this is for you watching this broadcast this morning. You are special. In the book of John chapter 4, we read the story of the Samaritan woman. A Samaritan woman who was going to the well to draw water. But on that particular day, she had a divine appointment. She had an appointment with Jesus Christ. This was the day that she was going to meet the well sitting on the well. The well of living waters. Who is Jesus Christ? This Samaritan woman was going to the well to get water. She was going alone. Maybe she did not want to be bothered by other people because of everything that she had done and they might have been thinking about her. She was going alone to just draw water. And here, when she gets to the well, there is a Jewish man sitting by the well resting and it was Jesus Christ but she did not know that this man was Jesus and that that particular day her life was about to be completely transformed she goes to draw water and Jesus asks her for some water you know she was very surprised she was shocked that a Jew could ask her for water because you know that Jew, Jews and Samaritans, they did not get along. They were not talking to each other. You know, he, she was thinking to herself, that man must be crazy asking me, a Samaritan woman, for water? And she told him, she said, how can you be speaking to me? Are you speaking to me? Because aren't you a Jew? Why would you be asking me? a Samaritan woman to draw water and to give you some water. And Jesus told her, if you only knew the person who was talking to you, if you only knew who was asking you for water, as a matter of fact, you would have asked him, give me of your water because the water I carry is the living water. So he said, now she's standing, saying to herself, wow, that man must really be crazy because he does, doesn't even have anything to draw water with. And he's offering, saying, if you knew who I was, you would, ask me, you would be asking me for the living water, for my water. And she said, but you don't even have anything to draw water with. Where are you going to get that water that you're offering to me? And 
She goes on and said, are you greater than Jacob? Are you greater than of other Jacob who built this well, who drank from this well, and who took water for his cattle, his family, his flock from this well? Are you even greater than Jacob that you can say that you have a water that is better, greater than the water from this particular well that she was going to dig water from? You know, and she goes on with the conversation with Jesus and said, you know what? I know that the Jews believe that somebody is going to come and he is going to be the Christ. And that us Samaritans, we worship on this mountain. But the Jews, they go to Jerusalem. They said that people have to go to Jerusalem to worship worship God and Jesus said the day is coming and the hour has now come that the real believers will worship God not in any place not in a specific particular designated place but in spirit and in truth amen I want you glad that even right now, as you're watching this broadcast, wherever that you are in the world, you can be in Africa watching us on our website, you can be in Haiti, wherever that you are in Europe, in Australia, in Trinidad, watching this broadcast, you can worship God because you're worshiping in spirit and in truth. You don't need to travel to Israel. You don't need to travel to Jerusalem. You can worship him right in your living room you can worship him right in your kitchen you can worship him wherever that you are driving your car at work you can worship god because now we worship him in spirit and in truth we don't have to go to a designated place to worship god so jesus tells this lady listen the time is coming and it has already come that People will worship God in spirit and in truth. And she said, so please then, in that case, give me that living water. I want some of that living water. Because Jesus said, whoever drinks from this living water, they will never thirst again. And he's saying that to you today. When you drink from the water of Jesus, when you drink from that well, who is Jesus Christ. You will never trust again. You will never trust again. Your life will be tr completely transformed. Things will begin to happen in your life. You will never trust again. The Spirit of God will, will come and fill you up and you will be completely transformed. Hallelujah. Yes. So she said, please give me all this living water because I want to drink it and I don't want to ever thirst again. And Jesus said, go and get your husband. And the lady said, I don't have a husband. But Jesus said, in this you have told the truth because you have had five husbands and now the, even the one that you are with he is not your husband. In that, I know that you have said the truth. And the, and the lady is completely, now she is completely baffled. She is completely in shock. And she's like, oh, I see that you are a prophet. Because Jesus could tell everything that she has done. And that is why I'm telling you that Jesus knows everything that you have done. Whatever deplorable thing has have happened in your life, he already knows about it. He still loves you. He still has a time appointed to meet with you so that your life can be transformed. He is ready to give you this living water. And when you drink from that water, you will never thirst. Whatever it is, shameful things that will happen in your life, he knows about it. And you are worthy in the eyes of the Lord. You are precious. To Jesus. You are special to Jesus. This woman felt unworthy because of what had happened in her life. She had had five husbands, and the one that she was with 
was still not hers. And maybe today you are with somebody that is not yours. Maybe you have had six, seven husbands. And you feel um, the shame of it. You feel disgrace. Men have caused you to, to, to feel shameful about your past. Dis disgraceful. To make you feel ugly. Thinking that you are not worth anything. Because of the things that have happened in your life. Maybe you have gone to jail. Maybe you, are, you, are, you were burned by um, addiction to alcohol, drugs, or anything. And men have made you to, to feel like you are, you are not worth anything. You are of no value. But today, Jesus, Jesus is telling you that you are valuable. You are special. You are a child of the Most High God. Men might have defined you. They might have closed the doors on you. They might have put you in, in, in your womb and said you will never come out. They might, might have rejected you because of what you have done, because of what had happened. Maybe because you are in poverty. You file for bankruptcy and you don't have a place to stay. You are homeless or whatever you may have gone through. And men have defined you thinking that, you know, it is over for you. That nothing will good will ever happen to you. And when they see you, they don't want to talk to you. They want to gossip about you. But you know what? Today, you, I want you to know that you are special in the eyes of the Lord. You are desirable in the eyes of the Lord. You are precious to, to the Lord. You are a child of the Most High God. You are an overcomer. You are the head and not the tail. The victory has already been given to you. It is yours for the taking in the name of Jesus. Don't allow men to define you. Only God can define you. See yourself the way that God sees you. A beautiful, anointed child of the most high God. Precious, valuable in the eyes of the Lord. It is time for you to stop crying. It is time for you to stop feeling ashamed and disgrace. It is time for you not to listen to men, but to listen to what God says about you. Whatever that men have said about you. Those are lies because the word of God says, let every man be a liar, but only God has the truth. And the truth of it is, is what Jesus is doing right now in the book of John chapter 4. And it is what we are talking about, that you are special, you are valuable. You know, God has forgiven you of your sins. You know, now it's time for you to forgive yourself. God has already forgiven you because then when we come to him, we repent, we confess our sins. He, for, he forgives you and then he forgets about it. That is what grace is all about. There is nothing that you can do to deserve it. But it is a, a gift from God. That is what the grace of God is all about. You are under grace. The grace of God is covering you. You are worthy. You are valuable. You are precious, special in the eyes of the Lord. You, Stop listening to everything that men, that people are saying about you. People, maybe when you get in your room, they turn their heads because they want to gossip about you. But keep your head up because you are a child of the Most High God. You have already been forgiven. You have, you have gotten that living water. You have drunk from it. And you are a child of the Most High God. No one can take this away from you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't allow men to take away what God is trying to give you. God is trying to bless you. He said his plans for you are plans to see you do good, are plans for you to be made whole, are plans for you to prosper and to have an expected end. His plans are not for you to sit where you are and feeling pity because of what? Because of the shame, of the disgrace and all those despicable things. You know, you are good enough. You are valuable enough. You are good enough just the way that you are. And God loves you just the way that you are. He like this Samaritan woman that went to Jesus. Don't you know that Jesus, he knew about her. He, he told her about her past. But he still wanted her to get that living water. He still wanted her to draw water from the world and give to him. He still wanted to... Talk to her and make sure that her life was transformed. Make sure that she knew that, you know, she was forgiven. And he wants to do the same for you today. He wants to do the same in your life. This is your appointed time to meet with Jesus, to know that he loves you. He adores you. 
You know, you are so precious to Jesus. And he's watching over you. He knows everything that you have done. And he still loves you. He knows everything that you have gone through. He's still in it with you. He's in the fight with you. Hallelujah. I see someone. You are feeling so desperate. You are feeling so sh ashamed. Disgrace. Because you think that what you have done, you know, can never make you to be worthy. Because people have rejected you. They have thrown so many stones at you. And you don't know what to do anymore. You are lonely. Because you don't know where to turn or what to do. But I'm speaking to you this morning. And I'm telling you that you are special. You are special in the eyes of God. You are a child of the most of God. You are made at the image of God. God has already delivered you in the name of Jesus. You are made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No matter what you may have gone through no matter what you have done you are a child of the most high god you know someone is sick this morning you know and god wants to heal you you are sick today you're sitting at home and you are sick and the doctors have said that there is nothing that they can do for you but what reports would you believe the doctor's reports of the word of God, who says that Jesus wants to heal you. He wants to see you made whole. He wants to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Healing is coming into your body. God is healing you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So this, the Samaritan lady now is completely in shock because now Jesus has told her everything that she has done and she knows now that she's speaking to a prophet and jesus said the one that you said that the jews are saying that will come i am he this is me i am the christ i am that living water i carry that living water this is me that you're talking talking to and the woman became so excited the word of god says she ran back to the town and she went to tell everybody, come and see, come and meet this man that has told me everything about me. Come and see this Jesus that has told me everything that I have ever done. And they said, because of a testimony, many Samaritans came to the Lord. Many of them became believers because she went around and told them, what had happened like when jesus blesses you when god bless you you have to be able to testify about the glory and the goodness of the lord i mean so many people are watching today god has done so much for you but you have yet to open your mouth and let somebody know that god had taken me out of the pit when the enemy meant for me to fall in the pit and die god took me out when i did not have money to pay for my bills you know god supernaturally opens the door for me to be able to pay my my debt you know supernaturally god has done so much for you you know you should not be here today some of you should have been dead already you should have died in accident. You should have died from sickness. So many things could have happened to your life, but you are alive today by the grace of God. You are alive today because God has done it in your life. Some of you were in an abusive relationship. Only by the grace of God were you able to make it out. But you have not testified yet of what God has done for you. In the book of Revelation, it says, We overcome the enemy. By the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Somebody needs to hear your testimony. I want to hear your testimony. Give me a call at 617-977-4755 and let me hear your testimony. Somebody needs to hear your testimony of what God has done. How he took you out from, 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 from your deathbed. And you are alive today because God has saved you. Because God had deliv has delivered you. And you need to testify. You know, and contact us. Connect with our ministry. Go on our website, pastornicholas.com. And send us your praise report. Send us your testimony of what God 
has done in your life. You can reach us on our website, pastornicholas.com. You can go to our website, pastornicholas.com, send us your praise reports and testify about what God has done in your life. Our phone number is 617-977-4755. Give me a call because I want to pray with you. I want to connect with you. Let me pray with you. 617-977-4755. The Samaritan woman ran, ran to the town and told everybody that she could find that come and meet a man that has, to, has told me everything about me. And there are people that are waiting for you to come and tell them about Jesus. All you have to do is open your mouth and let them know what he has done in your life. The way that you thought that you were disgraced. You, you, shame was your portion, but he had taken all these things away from you. And today, you are here because of God. Today, no more shame, no more tears, because Jesus is working in your life. Stop crying. No more, don't shed any more tears. Because Jesus has entered into your life. He has given you that living water. The water will make it that you will never trust anymore. Your life has been transformed. You know, people will be surprised because of what God is doing in your life. They will, some people will never have expected you to, 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 to make it because they had already closed the doors on you. But Jesus who is the living water, has entered into your life and changed everything. Hallelujah. If you don't tell somebody else, others will not believe. Be like that some item lady that went to the town and was telling anybody, everybody, that she has met a man who has told her everything about herself. Now, from this lonely woman going to the well, at a time that she knew there would be nobody there, she would be the only one to draw water. From this transformation, this transformed lady that went back to town with confidence and went to tell everybody that, you know what, I have met a man today that has told me everything about me. And because of her testimony, so many came to believe in the Lord. So many came, the Samaritans came and met Jesus. You know, your testimony will do the same. Your testimony to other people of what God has done, of when you met Jesus, all shame left you, or every despicable thing that you have done, it was over, you never did them again. You were walking, walking with God, you are righteous. In the eyes of the Lord, you are special, valuable. You know that you are a child of God. And you are telling them with confidence that there is a Jesus. That when you meet him, will transform your life. Others, others will come to believe. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is what Jesus wants to do in your life. And I'm telling you today, no more tears. Stop shedding tears. No more loneliness. Stop being depressed. No more sickness. Because Jesus Christ has given you this living water. He is able to save. He is able to heal. And he is able to deliver. You are healed now in the name of Jesus. The healing virtue of Jesus is flowing to your body right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see heat going through your body. That is Jesus working in your, in your body. And I want you to know, don't give up. What you're feeling is the Holy Spirit working in you. It's the power of God working in you. Don't give up. Because Jesus Christ is on your side. Don't ever give up. No matter what. Because he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is with you always until the end of times. No matter what it looks like on the outside, Jesus Christ 
is on your side. God is on your side. The Holy Spirit is your comforter. He is with you to lead you, to guide you, to direct you. You know, he is there for you. Give us a call. 617-977-4755 and let us know what God is working in your life. He is an amazing, he is an amazing, he is an amazing, amazing God. He can do so much. He can do so much in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We give God the praise. Listen. Connect with our ministry. PastorNicholas.com And let us know what God is working in your life. Connect with our ministry. Go to our website, pastornicholas.com, and see everything that this ministry is doing and get involved with what we are doing. We surely appreciate it. You know, I don't want to leave you today without giving somebody who is watching this broadcast the opportunity to get to know Jesus, the opportunity to receive from Jesus that living water that we are talking about today. He is the world of living water. This word, living water, when he gives it to you, you will no longer thirst. Whatever that you are looking for, it is in Jesus Christ. It's nowhere else. I want you to close your, close your eyes and bow your head and be in the attitude of prayer as we go before the Lord. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I give you my life. I confess that you are my Lord and Savior. I know that you died for me on the cross. On the third day, you rose from the dead, and you are now sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for me day and night. I ask you to give me this living water. I'm ready to receive it, and I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have prayed this, if you have prayed this prayer, I want you to give us a call. 617-977-4755. Let us know that you have prayed this prayer with us today. And we will surely send you some biblical materials to help you in your work with God. We are here for you. We are here to help you in your work with God. Give us a call. 617-977-4755. We are waiting. We are waiting for you. And we want to connect, connect with you. Give us a call. 617-977-4755. May God richly bless you. Enjoy this day because this is the day that the Lord has made. And it is your day to rejoice. It is your day for your breakthrough. It is your day for your miracle and for your healing. God has done it in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.